What's up guys, welcome back to Black Star Anime, the anime community's voice of reason. And today... It's 2014 Black Star Anime it's Awards. It's the best of 2014 Black Star Anime Awards, which also means it's the Butthurt Awards. Let's do it! So to start off, we're going to be doing the opening themes of anime. This is a top five. But before we get into the list, Cody, what are some points that make a good opening theme so the people watching are confused? A good opening theme in, in an anime? In anime. Um, actual animation in your opening theme? And things that move. Actual animation in your opening theme. Um, an opening theme that actually kind of ties into the actual anime. When I watch an opening theme between the art style and the music, I mentally want to be prepared to watch this anime. Correct. I don't want to be still in the mindset of any of the previous anime I'm watching. As soon as I hear the opening thing, I'm like, awesome, I'm about to watch this anime. So the song and the visuals are setting the tone and the theme for the anime as well. Correct. Cool. And the nominees are Psychopath Season 2, Animatic Feeling by Lean Tosite Segure. Yo Peta, Season 1, Opening 2, Yo Mushi no Homo, by Dirty Old Men. Rage of Bahamut Genesis, Existence, by Sim. Face Day Night, Unlimited Blade Works, Ideal White by Mashiro Ayano. Your Line April, Opening 1, Ikaru Nara by Goose House. And the winner is... Rage of Bahamut Genesis, Existence by Sim. Rage of Bahamut was truly the best out of the best for this year. Yes. It had great animation. It was a great song. I still catch myself listening to, mm -hmm. or singing it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Rage of the Bahamut was truly the best this year. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, there you have it. That's going to be our best opening thing of 2014. Don't go anywhere, though. Black Star Anime Awards is just beginning. I'm killing every track like my last name Zodic. I'm so fast I can rip the heart out of your chest and give it back and you wouldn't even notice. Nah. What are we doing this time? This time we're going to be running down the best ending themes of 2014. Best ending themes of 2014. Manny, what makes a good ending theme? A good ending theme is it's going to have a good song and it's going to have good visuals with actual animation. Uh, possibly some scenes that you might have already seen in the anime, so you're a little nostalgic for what you've just seen, in yes. a sense. It makes you want to kind of miss the anime. It makes you kind of want to rewatch the episode you just saw again. Correct. What makes a bad ending thing? Still frames that pan across the screen this way. Still frames that way. pan. And then this way. We understand if we really like the song in a certain opening and or ending. Of course, a good song is good also. Yes. But if it's frame. nothing but still frames and panning, it's not going to get a good voting in my book. Nope. Wink, wink, parasite. Not wink, on these wink. awards. Not on these awards. Let's get right into the nominees. And the nominees are Tonari no Seki-kun, Set Them Free by Akira Jimbo. Tokyo ESP, Kusei Agiros by Yusei Takaiku. Maho Senso, Born to Be by Nana. Nobunaga Concerto, Fukugyaku Replace by My First Story. Seven Deadly Sins, Seven Seven by Flo and Grand Rodeo.
and the winner is Nobunaga Concerto, Fukugyaku Replace by My First Story. Uh, Nobunaga Concerto was honestly the best of the best this year. Well, Tanara no Seki-kun, that was... It was, it was close, <clears throat> but... I liked it because it literally embodied everything that was the anime Tanara no Seki-kun. Correct. And, and the fact that he was actually hitting the notes on his little, like, pencil cases, that, that, it, it was awesome. But Nobunaga Concerto, it was, it was very pretty. Nobunaga Concerto was awesome. They had so many 3D pens showing all these yes. characters. It had different settings, different places in time. It was just a beautiful, beautiful ending with a good song. Yes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the ending themes for the best of 2014. Don't go anywhere, though. We got more coming for you for the Black Star Anime Awards. See, ever since we met Hot Ice Hilda, we've been on the run from these pirate killers. We never really know quite what to expect. Manny, what do we cover? We are doing the best action anime of 2014. Best action anime of 2014. This, this was a pretty decent category yes, this year. There was a lot of heavy hitters this year in action. Uh, so much so that, honestly, some of the ones that I'm sure you like didn't make our nominee list. And... Yes. Sorry, not sorry. Yes. Yeah, we did break it down to a top five list. There were some very strong top sixes <laughs> list. Um, also, if you have any questions while you're watching these videos of what we're really critiquing when we say we're voting for best action or best adventure, we're actually going to put up a link and we have a detailed description of what each category should encompass in which what makes a good action anime. We'll put that link below. Yes, we will. Oh, that description will be below. Yes, we will. So let's get right into it with the nominees. And the nominees are Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. Kill Lock Him. Akame ga kill. Rage of Bahamut Genesis. Hunter x Hunter. And the winner is Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. I mean, that category was jam-packed with, I mean, yes. come on. We, we went back and forth for days, literally days, on what's the best of the best. And honestly, when it comes down to it, Fate Stay Night is a true blue action anime. There's a fight every episode, yes. sometimes more than one fight, and sometimes multiple fights at the same time. Yes. Not that I love that other categories didn't have that, but personally, I think Face Day Night did it the best. So, at, the at, animation was great. Mm -hmm. The action, the actual choreography, everything was just brilliant. What was the close runner-up in this category? Uh, of course, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x what Hunter really was... killed Hunter x Hunter from well, reaching the number one spot? Oh, Hunter x Hunter stays true to its shown in nature. Where yes. There's a lot of growth periods. It is still an action anime, but however, there, there'll be time periods of two, sometimes six episodes where there is no action. There's training or there's growth or character reflection. So it, it kind of knocked it down a notch, giving Fate Stay Night the edge to take number one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the best action from 2014. If you like what you hear or didn't like what you hear, stay tuned. The Black Star Anime Awards is just getting started. Unless you're hoping for a no star status demotion, I came a long way from pig moles and giga trails. Now I'm We're going to get into the top sci fi anime of 2014. Top sci fi. Sci fi. Sci fi. And the nominees are Knights of Sidonia. Psychopaths 2. Right through the wall. That's the MWPSB's latest weapon, the Assault Dominator. 
When there's a wall between us and the target. Terrible. Terrible. World Space fled to this dimension. I can't go back to my home world again. So I'll stay here forever, cooking my ramen for whoever cares to order it. Out Noah Zero. And the winner is Knights of Sidonia. Now, Manny, I know you liked Psycho Pass 2 a lot from this past season. I did. So, what are your thoughts on Knights of Sidonia actually being the winner of the best sci-fi from 2014? Well, honestly, it had a lot of great concepts going for it. And not only that, this is the first uh, original ne Netflix original anime series yes. on stream. So, you guys didn't see it. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I feel a lot of people might have not seen it because it was on Netflix. They didn't know. And they were on Crunchyroll or on Hulu looking for stuff to watch. It, right. It's on Netflix. It's it's right there and it's dubbed. Yes. Um, but yeah, uh, dub is terrible. Don't don't do that. Dub is terrible. Do that. Knights of Sidonia had a lot of great a lot of great concepts going. They they really had a whole new world going for them. It was completely almost different from what we have now, even though it's based on humanity. Like, I, I like that it was actually grounded in its science fiction, almost yeah. off the bat in Knights of Sidonia. They pretty much stayed they're like, hey. We're humans, hey, we photosynthesize, we only eat once a week, hey, some of us don't have genders, hey, when we die, we turn into rice via this thing. I was like, oh, okay. It, Boom. But then there are mech at the same time. Yep, yeah, but there's mech fighting at the same time. And they're fighting these space aliens. It was great sci-fi. Good sci-fi. Good sci-fi. Good sci-fi. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for best sci-fi of 2014. But don't go anywhere. We got more videos coming for you for the Black Star Anime Awards 2014. Right now we're going to get into the best adventure anime of 2014. Let's do it. Before we list off the nominees for best adventure of 2014, Manny, what are we looking for when we truly say these are the best adventure of 2014? Well, for one, you have to actually go on an adventure, go on a journey. Leave your homeland, whether you do it by yourself or you do it with a group, and go on a journey to find something, to accomplish something. That's first. Mm -hmm. Second, of course, uh, th there has to be some good character development. Okay. Find some weaknesses, some strengths in your characters, and watch the characters grow a little bit as, the, as they're on their journey. Awesome. Sounds good. And the nominees are Rage of Bahamut, Genesis. No game, no life. Maggie, Kingdom of Magic. Mushishi Zoku Show 2. Seven deadly sins. And the winner is Rage of Bahama Genesis. What do you think about uh, the, the adventures this year? Well, Rage of Bahamut surprised me in general. Like, maybe what, the first 10 seconds of, of the anime? It just goes off off the radar. And I'm like, okay, let's see where this where they're going with this. And you meet this unlikely hero, Favro, yes. who has very annoying hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he pretty much has to escort this, this crazy one-winged demon lady to Helheim. And what they encounter on the way is great. It's great. It's, it's, it's truly great. It's uh, a great adventure. I, I mean, all the way from, I don't know. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> I mean, you sit down, when you're engaged and actually grasp you, you really have to just see where it, it, it ends up because what happens in each episode in between, it's just nothing but 
consistently a good adventure. Yes. <laughs> like it surprises you as you watch it. You're like, how are they going to top this next ep next episode? You're like, something else crazy happens. Yeah, the scale great. keeps rising in this. So it's overall, great adventure. great adventure. What would you feel was a very close runner up on this list? Uh, no game, no life was good. There, honestly, there was. It's a tough category. Mali is another good adventure. Mali, the, the Kingdom of, of Magic. It's a, honestly the season was stacked this year, but Rage of the Bahama came from the from the end, the very last season of the year, and took it. So, Rage of Bahama for the win. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the best adventure anime of 2014. But don't go anywhere. We got more of the Black Star Anime Awards. Right now, we're gonna get into the best sports anime of 2014. Let's do it. And the nominees are Kuroko no Basket, Season 2. <laughs> Hajime no Ippo, Rising. Haikyuu. Ace of the Diamond. Ping Pong, the animation. And the winner is Kuroko no Basuke, season two. Nice. This was actually, uh, it's a rough call. There's a lot of, honestly, if you're a sports anime fan, this was a great year for sports anime. Yes. There was a lot of, there was even some that didn't make the top five list. There's some good stuff out there this year, or last year, rather. Like Yo Pedal. Yo Pedal. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, Haikyuu is a, a new one that came in and honestly almost stole the thunder. Uh, Hajime no Ippo was really good too, but above all of them, Kuroko no Basket took number one. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the best sports anime from 2014. But like I said before, do not go far away. This is the Black Star Anime Awards. We're doing the Black Star Anime Awards Best of 2014. This time... We're doing best comedy. Best comedy. Of 2014. What made you giggle, ha ha, chuckle, and cry? <laughs> Let's <laughs> do it. And the nominees are. But I'll come back. I can't understand what my husband is saying. Monthly girls knows but ah, come on. Honestly, there was a lot. This was a tough category too. There was a lot of things that made us laugh and giggle. But uh, overall, Barakamon, I think, had the, the more consistent laugh throughout, throughout each episode. It was freaking funny. <laughs> it was, I don't care. I don't care what no one says. It I don't was think really any other one made me almost cry. <laughs> With, which is the, the almost random randomness of the of the the funny, especially from the little girl in, in the show. I, I thought oh, she hilarious. steals the show. She's the funniest character in the show. <clears throat> is the little girl. Yes, she's a great show. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for best comedy. But don't go anywhere. You're watching the 2014 Black Star Anime Awards. And we got more coming up. For you. Like Sailor Saturn's dress, then you better pay attention to the fan requests. I suggest that you resurrect midnight. Next, we're going to get into the best romance of 2014. And the nominees are Your Lie in April. Monthly Girls, Nozaki Kun. <laughs> <laughs> Nisekoi. <laughs> Golden Wolf Girl and Black Priest. And the winner is. Golden Time. Manny, talk to me about Golden Time. Honestly, Golden Time, it, it, was the, it was easily the best romance of last year. They had relationships come together, relationships never start, relationships fell apart. It was honestly, it was good stuff. And what made it all even better, especially for you, Cody, they weren't in high school. They were in college. No, they weren't in high school. They weren't in middle school. They weren't in after cram school. <laughs> They weren't in some boarding school, grown ass adults in college. In college. Thank you, Golden Time. All right, so that's it for the best romance of 2014. Uh, but don't go anywhere. We got more videos coming for you for the Black Star Anime Awards. This knee is cooking. Survive that so we could make it do anything. Stay tall and never fall to our We jump right into the next category, and it's gonna be fantasy. Let's do it. And the nominees are. Mushishi, Sokusho 2. Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Bladers. Seven Deadly Sin. Rage of Bahama, Genesis. No game, no life. And the winner is Rage of Bahama, Genesis. What are your thoughts on this for fantasy? I think Rage of Bahama did every single thing that you want from a fantasy anime right. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, one of the things that was great is the different mythologies that they mixed together. You literally see, you see Satan and you see Zeus. There's demons, there's angels, there's zombies. It's it's a brilliant mix of different sci or different fantasy things all together in one jumble and they did it well it didn't feel convoluted it was awesome yes i also like how they kind of integrated the magic system into it too without it getting too in depth or too technical or too many limits per se on the magic Not within this rules. fantasy it wasn't all those rules yes yeah i mean if 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 you were a specialist in like guarding magic, they're cool. You're gonna do a you're gonna you do a guard guarding me. spell. You can place curses on other people. I I thought all these things were very well done. It kind of just did. Yes, just that's did. what I loved about this fantasy. Let's go. Like episode one, boom. Here's mm. angels. Here's demons. Here's some crazy magic. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> we're not gonna hold your hand the whole time, and here's that's what I feel really yes. grabbed me the viewer and other viewers into rage bahama and then it just took it from there i thought great great fantasy great fantasy
All right, guys, you just saw the best fantasy of 2014, but don't go anywhere. You're watching the Black Star Anime Awards. Cody, what are we getting into next? Now we're going to get into best psychological of 2014. Best psychological, let's do it. And the nominees are Parasite the Maxim. <laughs> もっと早く打ち上げようと思ってたんだけどついにね立て驚くだろうこんな死一違うあの 中国。ジェスコ。ハイブのやつ。あの時の続きをやろうってわけ。ああ。この空港をチェスバンに見立てて。ゲームをするつもりだ。ムシシ、ソクショウ 2。抜いても抜いても生えてくるんだ抜くと手にまで the And the winner is Terror in Resonance What are your thoughts on this, Cody? I think it was really close because Tokyo Ghoul made a lot of good psychological points but it was kind of repetitive throughout the series until mm -hmm. the final episode The final episode, the, the entire episode is one of the best psychological scenes I've really seen in anime in a long time I will give it credit for that but on the flip side, in Terror Resonance, the actual mental fight between nine and five, in which you you pretty much see like you, it's a, it's like a chess game in their minds against each other, and they're not really interacting at, at all physically or anything. More consistent overall, too. Yes, I and the fact that you don't even know the main character's objective until like the last or second to last episode it even puts a psychological element on the viewer. Because you're trying to figure out the that's, mystery the whole time. That's very true. So definitely, Terran Resonance is going to be the best psychological of 2014. Takes the edge. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the best psychological anime of 2014. But don't go anywhere. We got more for the Black Star Anime Awards coming up. We're getting to the grand finale. This is the best anime of 2014. So, Manny, what are you looking for? When someone asks you, what is the best anime of 2014? Uh, honestly, every, everything goes into this. The anime opening, the animation quality, the consistency in animation, the characters, the main characters, the antagonists, the storytelling, everything. This is the jumble. Everything about the anime goes into this. So what was the best anime of the year? Honestly, this is where the butthurt gets real. The butt hair gets real. Me personally, I feel it's. I feel there's always some anime that really leaves a profound impact on me. Oh yeah. Like this, I watch an anime. Brotherhood is a great example. I watched that. I'm like, that's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, between the you know the action, the character development, yeah, everything. So I feel for best of 2014 when when I'm when I'm saying that you need to meet these qualities, and if anything, since the years are progressing, you need to do it better. You gotta get a little bit better. Yeah, you really have to get a little bit better, and I feel a lot of times I don't get that from each year. Well, not only that, a lot of people also like to confuse this with their favorite of the year, and that's not the same thing. That is correct. This is the best. The best execution on everything. Yes, we do take into consideration art style, um, animation, we take into consideration character development, whether or not it ends or if it ends well. How good did it end? How good did it end? And if you're made by Studio Bones, you already know you're not in it. All jokes aside, let's get right into the nominees. And the nominees are Mushishi, Zoku Show 2. Bait Stay Night, Unlimited Blazers. No 
game no like.最後にゲームを楽しいって感じたのは、いつ? <laughs> And the winner is Rage of Bahamut Genesis. So based off a of card game, Manny, how did Bahamut get our best of 2014? Honestly, Bahamut did everything great. If you've already noticed watching this awards, it's in four or five of the categories. That's great. It has a great opening theme. It's absolutely beautiful, even though I don't like Favreau's hair. It animates beautifully. It's it's literally it's so clean and so well done. The fantasy in it is great. The effects in it are great. It's also consistent. It doesn't lose itself. Yes. There's numerous anime I did see from this past season. I'm not really gonna name it. It starts that. good and it ends good. Yes. But in that middle segment. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now. Sorta online too. This Bahama didn't do this. It didn't try to be something it wasn't. Yeah. That was a big issue we had in Sword Art, and it, I mean, it obviously, keeps if you're changing a fan, its tone. Yeah, it, it almost becomes a different genre, like every what six episode. Mm -hmm. Bahama off the gate. This is an action, action. This is an adventure. This is a fantasy. We're gonna go balls to the e wall. Every and we're episode. We're gonna keep it going. It was excellent, and of course, you had great antagonists. You're literally yes. you're fighting demons. You're fighting all these crazy fantasy stuff, and it, it was great. It, even the gods were antagonists, you know, because. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you watch it, I mean, you, you gotta watch it. We're not gonna spoil it. It's, it's absolutely a great anime. It deserves anime of the year. Yes. If you haven't seen Rage of Bahama Genesis, you can watch it on the Funimation channel, and you can also watch it on their website. All right, guys, that's really gonna wrap everything up. I mean, we appreciate you guys watching our Black Star Anime Awards of 2014. We look forward to everything upcoming in 2015. Um, like, comment, subscribe, definitely comment down below if there's any anime that you feel really should have made our list, mm -hmm. or if you agreed with all the anime that we covered. That's going to be it. Thanks again for watching the 2014 Black Star Anime Awards. I'm Manny. I'm Cody. We'll see you next time. I am back from a lengthy sabbatical. I had to do a thousand punches of gratitude. Now I'm meeting every other nerd rapper like I'm one half ant and the other half cannibal. Next album release similar to Gen Thru's Nin Technique, going up the whole team. And these girls gon' freak when they see my money stacked taller than the hair on the grown gon' freaks.